Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So I'm going to be starting a kind of mini series here, just sharing a couple of recipes that I'm trying at the moment. While my husband's away, I'm trying to do a couple of like different meals, maybe ones that he wouldn't eat and also trying to make my life a little bit easier and cooking just once. So for me and my daughter who is almost 16 months old. So today I'm going to be doing this cheesy broccoli orzo from the What Mummy Makes book. I found this book to be really really helpful actually because it obviously is really tasty still for adults but it's still suitable for children so the recipes are fab and I've tried a few so far and this is just one of them that I've kind of repeated but I thought I would film for you because it is just so super easy like it's just a cheesy pasta essentially with veggies and yeah it's just super easy so I'm going to show you how I do it and I hope you enjoy so yeah, like I say, this is a super easy recipe. It's one of those one pot meals, which are my favorite because the less washing up, the better at the minute. So basically all it is, is the orzo, whichever your required amount is. The recipe in the book is for two adults and one child. So I think I pretty much halved it. Um, so just the orzo, some broccoli and peas into the saucepan just to boil all together. And then I also reserve some of the water for later on for mixing in to like the actual saucy part. So I let all of that boil down. I generally find it takes around 13, 14 ish minutes um, to boil down. It may seem like quite a lot for the broccoli because they're in quite small florets, but it's quite good because you want the broccoli to be quite mushy so it actually mushes into the sauce rather than having a tiny bit of bite and struggling to kind of mash it all in. I mean if that's your preferred way of doing it that's totally fine too you could probably do it that way but I just find it's like a hidden veggie kind of thing for me so I just smash it all up into the sauce. The only thing in doing that means that I have to use a sieve rather than a colander else all of the smashed up broccoli tends to just kind of fall through the colander so I just use a sieve instead when I come to drain it. So once it is drained I'll put it back on the hob and then I'll just turn the ring down like all the way down just so it still can heat through the actual cheese and things and melt it all together but so that it doesn't like burn anything while I'm spooning things out. So I'm using some full fat cream cheese here, just half a pot, just cause it's what I had left. I didn't really measure things out too well in this. I just thought, meh, the more cheese, the better. So I've popped that in there. And then I'm also putting in that reserved pasta water just a little bit at a time just to kind of mix in with the cheese just so it actually spreads over the orzo um, without making it too too watery. I also popped in a splash of like garlic infused olive oil just to give it a little bit of kind of slip to it and obviously a little bit of extra flavour. So I did also put in a little bit of mascarpone as well. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I had some in and it needed using. So I just dumped some in just to make it extra creamy and extra cheesy and yummy. Probably not great for my waistline, but hey ho. So I think I just put in maybe one or two tablespoons, if that. And here we are, this is like the end result. It's just like I say, just a creamy, cheesy pasta with veggies in. Super simple, super quick, super tasty. I did add a sprinkling of salt onto mine, just cause obviously I didn't add any when I was cooking. And then I also did put some grated cheddar on both of ours at the end. And oh my God, I have done this so many times since filming this video because it's just so easy, it's so quick like I say. And you can do it with all sorts of different pasta, um, it just works so so well and I really found the mascarpone just gave it an extra kind of richness. I 
hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you do try this recipe or any of the other ones I end up sharing with you. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video.